Oh my god, it seems like my previous Agatha review got me heaps of flack, and that's okay. You have your own opinions, I have mine. This is all in good fun. Plus, I got myself a bunch of new subscribers, and we're so close to 1k. Now, let's continue with the video. Oh no! Anyway, last week... Agatha episode 3 was meh. It was fine. I would say the second half of the episode was a bit more interesting than the first half. The first half was just really boring. And I'm starting to think it might have that same trope with a lot of Disney Plus series where it feels like one big movie stretch into multiple episodes. So we're just having a lot of filler in between important moments in the series. And I guess Agatha is no exception towards that kind of style of storytelling. I guess... I need to elaborate this a bit more when it came to Katherine Hahn's performance. I did say she was charismatic as ever just because she is. She does a good job playing as Agatha and I love the fact that she's still a bitch because she's a bad guy. You know, people having problems of her being unlikable, uh, that's pretty much the point. She is the villain and Agatha just being a bitch to everyone the entire time is really entertaining to watch and I guess relatable because of how I feel towards some of these characters in the show because I don't really gravitate towards majority of them at all and that's fine people like to say the show's not made for me which is whatever i understand i mean you gotta keep in mind this is a marvel project and majority of your fan base are male i know it's a hard truth to swallow but it's pretty true but anyways i'm a bit let down we did not see aubrey plaza which her character's name is called rio and apparently the pop finals did spoil her true identity which i won't spoil for those who are just casually coming through this video just to see what my opinion is sure i might have spoiled Billy's identity, but come on. I'm pretty sure that's obvious to figure it out. Even though the show is trying to mislead you with the whole Agatha son little snippet that we got in this episode. So anyways, the witches are beginning their journey in the road. We're pretty much getting explained how it all works. And then Sharon decided to wander off for some weird reason and she ends up almost getting synced in by the earth. I guess just to show what happens if you stray the witch's path. I mean, poor Sharon, she didn't ask for any of this. And we also get more information about the whole Billy not being able to talk about himself so it's some sigil that is casted on him and I thought it only affected on Agatha but it affected on all the witches so they can't know anything about him his name or anything like that which is why they just call him teen but I will say they should have just asked Sharon what Billy said but I guess we'll never get that opportunity now plus it'll be another way of showing that oh the spell doesn't only affect on him like if maybe Sharon tried to say his name maybe it'll muffled her voice to say that no matter how hard they tried they'll never get the info about Billy at all but again I feel like that's the fall in the writer just not having the characters ask Sharon what did he say when it comes to this sort of trick you really gotta think of all the outcomes that people will, f will begin to ask doesn't matter no everyone's gonna think about that that sort of solution you always got to make sure there's no plot holes with this but i know some people will say it's just entertainment turn your brain off well f me for paying attention <laughs> so the witches discovered this beach house so they enter in and they get a riddle and a bottle of wine <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not the other one that jokes about this. Majority of people who obviously don't really care or like to give shit to this show. We always joke about this show being made for wine moms. And the fact that we have a wine mom moment is just funny. So I would say this episode made me laugh, but I didn't laugh with the episode. I laugh at the episode. So obviously this riddle was about potions. And so when the ladies drink the wine, except for Billy because he's underage, they all start having these Botox swollen faces. <laughs> So this kind of remind me of work because I see a lot of people during my day shift <laughs> Holy cow the amount of people with Botox is just funny and this just reminds me of those moments at work So kudos to the makeup department for making it look so believable So Sharon passes out from the poison because she drank it first So she's getting the effects a lot earlier than everyone else and so all the ladies got to find the ingredients But that's when the poison starts to kick in even more when they start to begin to hallucinate certain fears or traumatic moments in their life and i gotta say this is the interesting part of the episode yeah i don't really care too much for a lot of the characters so it was really agatha's vision when it came to the whole child thing how apparently he gave up his son 
for the Book of the Damned. I would like to know more about that, but I'm pretty sure we will eventually. Plus, I gotta say Catherine Hahn's hair does look good in the episode. After watching the Thunderbolts trailer and seeing that god-awful haircut Florence Pugh has, oh, it's good to see some nice looking hair on the lady in the Marvel project. I do practice on character design during my spare time, so I do have to look up stuff like hairstyles and fashion and stuff like that. So I do pay attention to these little details. Anyways, so the ladies got everything they need for the antidote and the potions lady, she makes it and she was missing ingredients. So Agatha does a really shitty pep talk, but it seems to work because they needed the blood of the unpoisoned, who was Billy, since he was underage to drink. So they brew the potion together, create the antidote, they all take a sip and then they forgot about Sharon. So they quickly just force fed her <laughs> the, the antidote. And we see that the whole house is going to be flooded by water because Agatha was cracking the window because she wanted to get out. And again, I got to give credit where credit is due when it comes to the production design and practical effects. When Sharon sinks into the ground, that's real. When the water's going around, that's also real. Mostly stuff like that would be used by CGI. So we have to really tip our hats when it comes to moments like these. The fact that they'll go the extra mile to use practical effects. It's definitely a surprise to me since Marvel intends to use everything CGI to the point that you may as well just create a CGI movie of these Marvel films at this point. So yeah, everyone escapes and unfortunately it turns out that Sharon is dead and Agatha had the correct response. Sharon's dead. Who's Sharon? Well, that's a damn shame. I didn't mind her. I think her inclusion was somewhat entertaining, but I guess they had to kill her off early so that Aubrey Plaza can, can join in into this journey. So that means every episode is going to feature an escape room type of scenario. I'm not sure if that's going to get real stale real fast and that each room is going to dedicate toward that witch's special trait, just like how we had the potions witch. And now the next room will be focusing on a different witch's uh, set of skills. But yeah, I I don't know what else to tell you. Really not much has happened. I guess we got a Mephisto name drop. An agent of Mephisto. Okay. Which I'd say, f off. Jack Schaefer didn't even know who Mephisto was when she was making WandaVision and I guess this is her making up for not knowing who he was. I doubt he's gonna be in the show at all and to me it's more like too little too late okay. Unfortunately you screwed it up with WandaVision. Unless you got some big surprise at the end in this show then all right I'll be impressed. But until then the show is still boring and if you enjoyed the show that's fine you know. Don't let me ruin your enjoyment but at least you guys are open to hear other people's opinion about the show. I mean that's what I do. I watch different kinds of reviews of people praising or hating the show and there have been instances where shows surprise me and or I thought was going to be crap and it was good. House of Dragon I thought it was gonna be crap like Game of Thrones at the end turned out to be really good. So we're still early on Agatha we're gonna reach to the fourth episode where all the critics watched it early. We'll see if it gets interesting at all. The only good thing I'm looking forward to is seeing Rio you know we gotta see the Senorita Aubrey Plaza. Am I sipping fur? <laughs> Maybe a little bit. But yeah, the, the show is still boring. Hate to break it to you, but those are the opinions from a Gumby.